Don't come here alone. Angelis and I felt like for the whole of this trip at least I didn't get to visit a historical site although the thing I'll be making up in my head will probably be that I didn't have a wholesome trip for everyone because I like all of my experiences to be really well rounded so I am currently here at the Clark Air Base so this was the air base that the US military armed force um, were situated so it has the actual planes and the actual helicopters that were being used during the second world war and you know just the relationship between the philippines and the americans for decades and decades so this is what um this vlog is gonna be about i just need to also mention something that of course i took filipino history and there were the mentioning of the american era in the philippines but this will be the first time that i'm actually getting a close contact into this part of that Filipino history into the part of the American period in the Philippines I'm gonna show you guys something right now I am standing <laughs> like the blade of this helicopter is like right over my head and I am standing in front of a helicopter so this was used in the Vietnam War they also used it for transportation and frontline casualty evacuation, resupply and trip execution. The first UA-1 was delivered to the Pacific PAF in 1969. You see all the planes over there. I'm just gonna go around and see how I can get close to them. Uh, the second plane here, it's a Vought F-8 Crusader. So this is actually a fighter plane um, wings for air defense, for surveillance and reconnaissance missions. And then I'm gonna move to the other one this one is like on a pedestal so there must be something special about it so it's a t-33 marker that was constructed during the centennial year of the philippines independence to herald the coming of a new age marked by state-of-the-art weapon system the philippines flat color right on the tower design this one here looks like a machine so firing or the missiles I'm not really sure there's a hole in the front there in the last plane that I'm seeing in this area it looks like a chopper but in a funny shape you're gonna see why I think it's more of a fighter plane like the ones you see in the movies yeah with the transparent top this one is named Blue Diamond. This was used by the 15th strike wing against secessionist and insurgent. It was commonly called Tora Tora because it resembled the Japanese zero fighter for the second world war year. What I also noticed is that in all of the planes that I've seen here so far, it always has Philippines Air Force by the side. So that means that these planes, these helicopters, we are used by the Filipino military. On the other side of the road, I can see from the netting that there is some sets of planes there. I just need to find a way I can get in here. I think I wandered a little bit too much and I went into the military zone because they said that that is prohibited, so I have to go over and see what is over there all right all right let's do it <sighs> so i am calling the taxi right now i'm gonna see if you can help me with directions on how to get to the old air base the taxi is here the colors are blue which is totally different from the normal white color taxis that we have in manila We have figured out where I'm going to the K9 Memorial. Yeah. We came 
came across like three casinos already. So probably once the lockdown is over, this would end up being one of the destinations for gamblers. So this is where they buried the military dogs that they used during the... <laughs> this name is funny. This one is Pig. <laughs> Pig, Sand, Crush, Silver, Castle, Winston. Hello. Hi. Boosie. This is actually my sister's nickname. Blue. Another blue. And what I thought was that everything was actually together like the canine memorial, the old churches, the old military dustin but the thing is that they are actually in different locations so if you are visiting here if you've never been here you might want to keep that in mind that they are in separate locations Stella, Link, Annie, Gable, Max yeah that is a very dangly name but some of the names are no longer there you can watch that Off. Now that I'm done with here, my next stop and my final stop would be to go to the, the old military hospital that was destroyed by Mount Pilatubo eruption. So yeah guys, see you in the rest of the vlog.